I've seen a few videos of people uh, picking these locks that you you see on Amazon and the like, and you just wonder about them whether it's worth spending the 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 four or five quid or whatever it is that they're asking for for a padlock uh, as a lock picker. Um, this one was uh, was shown to me by Lock Picking Paul on the UK Lock Sport Forum. Uh, and it was cheap and it was it's just so easy to press the buy now button so i'm, I'm putting this video out so uh, you don't have to go and waste your money and buy this lock uh, it quite clearly is a lock it says so there on the front uh couldn't actually get the print in quite straight or whatever um let's just slot it in the device while i'm talking uh let's get it that way around okay it's a cross lock okay there's the key um, the I actually have a hard time getting the key in and out of it I think this little bump is supposed to indicate which way the key goes in but because this arrow doesn't actually line up to anything uh, I think oh, oh there you go first time it, it's gone in so there you go it, it does work so presumably if I line that back up yet yeah, we can get it out um anyway it, it's uh, I, i'm not quite sure what you would do this lock in a real uh, in a real security uh, situation i certainly wouldn't want it on my front door um but let's see how we got on with picking it, it, it it's interesting enough if you uh, if you want a, a a cheap cross lock Okay, there you go. Now, I won't go any farther than that because what happens is that the pins fall down into uh, the next chamber and you just have to go through that same old uh, process. It's not a nice pick. Um, there you go. Locked up again. Public service, you don't have to buy one of these now. Thanks for watching.